Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to um, try try this one. So previously we did a, a pergola. So we use using um, structure framing. And um, so sometimes um, because it's depending on so on the uh, cut plan in the field region. So I'll just quickly cre uh, create a something. Okay, so this is architecture. Uh, Floor, floor plan um, so I'm going to just use beam system so and uh, for example I'll just uh, place it from so by default that's uh, so that's the floor level okay so three meter high I'm going to use a beam system so I'll just draw something like this and I'll just use this uh, UB that's uh, that's fine uh, changing the 900 so finish so you will see there's nothing uh, visible here because because if, if we go to 3d view you can see these because the level the height of these beams they are at three meters above the floor level but in floor uh, in the floor plan the cut plan so if you go to view range the cut plans at 12 or 1500 high so in this uh, in this uh, uh, template so you won't be able to see them okay so how can we see um, see those beams um, oh actually let me try this one if I change this one to this okay see it looks like we still we can't I'll just change it back okay so um, previously we did uh, I think we did a um, um, a, a, a trick so to modify an element so so for example this one because it's not these beams are not uh, being cut in the floor plan so it's not visible if we do something to the beam so for example if I add some invisible line below this beam maybe uh, it can be visible in the floor plan so let's try it so edit family and go to uh, let's go to a um, Elevation, so any maybe this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll try um, I'll try reference line. So because reference line is uh, uh, invisible, and um, pick a plan. Maybe I'll go to floor plan first, and then set word plan. Maybe I'll just use this uh, reference plan. Okay, so pick this one, and then go to left or right elevation draw a reference line I'll just draw something from the midpoint come down by maybe three meter okay so now I'm going to load this back over right okay so go to floor plan now you can see they are visible okay so <laughs> they are visible so let's have a look in 3d view so they are still at three meter high but they are visible in this floor plan so this is because this those reference lines being cut by the cup the um, cut plan so yeah this is why it's visible but um i do not recommend this because sometimes you don't you want you do want to have um because this this will confuse people because um yeah so usually you shouldn't see them in this because they are higher because it when you should uh, when you see this one it means it's lower than 15 or 12 1200 cut plan so this might you know get confused uh, so I do not suggest this um, but let's before before we um, try before we do the settings use um, use the settings in the view in the floor plan uh, I want to have another test so instead of ref reference line we can I'll just draw model line because I know that there's an invisible model line in here so um, so I think let's go to left um, oh sorry wrong one create model line and um, draw an invisible line there so maybe and see what happens okay so I'll just draw another three meter invisible model line load this back overwrite okay so okay so 
So the difference is, uh, okay, so this line, it looks like it's visible on, on, on the screen, but they are actually invisible. You, you, uh, you, you can see them when you only uh, select them or hover your, your cursor onto the family. But when once you, you know, un deselect them, so it's invisible and uh, it won't print. And let's have a look in floor plan. So, yeah, the same. So you can see this because this line is part of this family. So yeah, interesting. <laughs> so let's have a another look. So um, go to 3D view. Yeah, so I'll delete this. And I'm not sure, maybe uh, we, we, we can have symbolic line. But yeah, I'm not sure. Let's try. So left symbolic line um, can be invisible line as well. So how about this? So I just draw another three meter line, symbolic line, load this back over right. Okay, because symbolic line is not visible in 3D view. They, they are only visible in views and parallel with the view you draw, you drew them. So let's go to, uh, go to elevation. So, uh, Oh, let's go to floor plan first. Okay, so it looks like they, they, yeah, same. So they can also be used, used to, to show them in this floor plan. So now let's just go to this view because I want to see if, uh, if I can go to elevation view. Yep. So you can see invisible symbolic line. So you can find them in the elevation. Okay. So interesting so now let's let's change this back to original so i'm going to go to left and delete this symbolic line so now become an this ori uh, original structure framing okay family and then invisible not visible in here because uh, they are higher than a cut plan so yeah so uh, I'm going to show you a few different ways. So what we usually do. So of course, the the, the one method is to ch change this cut plan. So you, the whole thing has become, uh, the cut plans have become higher. It's just like you change it to side plan, which is, you know, unlimited height. So you can always see, see them. And if you change this one to, so uh, because for example, 3.3 .3 meter high, and also make sure you the top is uh, higher than the cut plan, so you will be able to see them, right? But this will change also change the you know the the plan of a, or uh, any other element. So probably it's not something you want to do. Uh, let me change this back to one uh, 1.5, 21. Apply. Okay. So let me just have a look. So change view range. So that's the first one, and use underlay. So this is you quite useful. So sometimes you wanted to see oh what's above that. So and actually I, I just quickly just do a roof, roof up there. Okay. So so that's roof at level one. It's not visible because it's uh, uh, above the car plan. So the usually you can do is go change this one to. Um, Actually, I'm not very clear how this works, but usually I just play, have a play. So look up and then you can see this one. And if we change this to unbounded, you can see the roof. So that's all levels. Looks like the, the depth or the limit, the depth of that view. If we look up a stop at some level. So if you change this unbounded, so it will go unlimited. Change this to level one, the view stop at level one. So you won't see the roof because the roof is a higher than level one. Okay, so by doing this, these lines, because this, I think this is good because these lines are, so you see the line style, they are using, they are using the line style under here. So it's, um, I think it's uh, <laughs> overhead. Uh, uh, no, 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 maybe not. I think it's just half tone, so yeah, I don't think that's overhead. Um, 
yeah, I think it's a half tone. But anyway, so it's half toned, so you can tell all oh, these are half toned, and then you know they are not uh, under the view; they are above the view. So if, and also by using this, by using uh, underlay, so I just uh, you can also apply 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 line work to them, or you can use detail line. So because you can, so for example, I'll just use this as a example, the roof. So um, you have an option to have this underlay on, okay? And then you can just go to, so for example, I want to show the roof as, you know, how uh, 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 hit, hidden line. So you can just go here, so change it to hidden line. And then, so it's all hidden line, right? And also you can, because sometimes you will see a lot of other things you don't really want to see. You just need to, you just want to show this uh, where your roof is. You can always go here, use this uh, line work. So once you use line work, so for example, I'll use overhead and pick this line, pick this line, pick this line, pick this line. Oops, wrong one. Pick this line. And then you can turn the uh, underlay off. Okay, so change this to now, and this line uh, will stay there. Okay, so the, the edge you use um, a line work uh, will stay there when, even after you uh, change the underlay to now. Okay, so this is sometimes quite useful. Okay, because when, when you, so you change the roof, it will automatically uh, adjust this. Okay, so another uh, and also another met, uh, um, way of doing this is I'll just turn this one back up and also I'll change this one to unbound and also I'll I'll remove this uh, uh, line work so by use bind category change them back to original line okay so another way of doing this is you can use detail line so DL okay D, oh, yeah, DL you can use detail detail line, and usually what I will do is I'll choose the, the same uh, line style, and then use pick pick line, and also uh, it would be good if you can just lock them. So one, two, three, four, right? So lock them onto the edge of the roof. So now if I change this one back to none, so now you won't be able to see the roof, but these are just detail line, and they are constrained onto the roof. Okay, so you can't move them because they are constrained onto the roof. And if you change, so let me just um, go to 3D view, and I'll just uh, I'll close this one, and I'll just WT. So if I change the roof, change the uh, footprint. And then you will see all these detail lines will follow the roof as well. Okay, so this is another way of show showing um, um, items above dash uh, dash items above using a detail line. So and also plan region. Yeah. So I think this is quite useful because especially when you have so uh, for architecture drawing you have high windows uh, you will need to use this a lot so for example you have a this you have a window if it's between it's uh, it's if it's uh, it's in at the level where you you can you cut the window you can see them so one meter it's you're cutting it right so if I change this one to um, two meter high so uh, uh, it's still cut <laughs> to hang on, let me just have a look two meter high three meter high okay okay now you can't see it and then you can always use plan region to draw some draw a box and in this you can change change the view range in this box so from I'll change this one to uh, three meter high with three meter top, okay, and okay. So you can see uh, not high enough. Thirty one. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. 
and then you can see that okay so if you move it away you won't be able to see it and that's it so you can do this same i'll copy this one to here because you can see these uh, columns oh sorry these beams so once i have this field up of oh, sorry plan region on them they are vis uh, visible and move it away not visible okay what else uh, we talk about this talk about this talk about this uh, data line yeah I think that's it so my suggestion is try not to edit the family because um, I'll I'll show you I'll show you why so I just because I just had uh, a test so this family okay so I tried uh, when I draw a model line or any line, a uh, reference, li reference line or a symbolic line, and if I draw it down from the model, it's fine. And sometimes if you do it up, so for example, in this case, I'm going to draw both. So, and then load this back. And you will change, you can see, they will change the level, change the uh, level of this uh, beam. So this one, I'll just create another one so cs create similar so i'll draw a one this one's supposed to be on the level zero right so level zero with zero uh, offset but ac the actual level of this one is so let me just hang on where's my level level here oh level okay level sa maximize okay so now you can see they are not right so if i let me go here so you can see they are not right so depending on i think it probably depending on the the length of the these lines it will you know move um so these are supposed to be at this level but now it's not right so that's why um i oh yeah you know, which this one <laughs> Yeah, same. It's go. It's going up. It should be here. So this is top, top three. What's top three meter? Change to zero. Oh, it's going to ah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's not right. It will use the the top of this element. So which in this case is the top of this line as zero. Okay. So yeah. So this is why. So try not to. Um, try not to add things or edit these especially uh, structure beams so if it's uh, something else should be fine because I, I think I previously I did something like this in a door family so in a cavity sliding door um, or a sli sliding door so because um, I want to when I place a tag onto that door if I have a opening and a um, opening and a panel door there so usually they just place uh, your center of the, the tag will be sent in the center of that door family but because I want to well, I want that tag to be placed just in on the um, in the opening so instead of you know just half in the uh, half opening of the panel yeah so i use this uh, method it's just draw something on the other side of the door panel so the center of this family become the opening <laughs> so um yeah th this is it um uh, so my suggestion is try not to try to adjust view range or all these two uh on your documentation <laughs> and that's it for today uh, if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye